only it feels like he's only played Nick's assassin. He's also played you know, some Earth Spirit, a couple others, but you know, seven games of it so far. But Nyx, even though he's on the rise, especially in immortal pubs, uh, he's not the strongest laner. And usually you want to pair him up with something like a Necrophos or a, an Enigma or something ranged to really, you know, make it through this laning stage more comfortably. Is this gonna be all right for him here in this top lane with Rezo? I think it's going to be fine as long as Rezo can push. I like the move that uh, VP did there, just realizing that they're strong, so they fight before the first creeps meet, just going up and fighting with Undying and Luna, pulling back and getting uh, getting a little bit of an advantage to the point that already we see Secret, of course, going for the pull. We see a similar thing being done by VP, so both side lanes are trying to uh, get the creeps back behind their tower. And Puppy with the body block. Oh my goodness, top lane, they're putting a lot of pressure over here on Reza. They do have a mango if they want to try to go for another decay, but they'll go pop the salve. Not quite. Oh, there it is with the loosened beam for Ramses. There will be our first blood. Just Baron, Reza is just trying to be cheeky, get as much farm as he can, but he can always get out. This lane doesn't have great ways to kill a Darkseer since they decided to lane the Undying up instead of a Disruptor. But I think this is just because they felt uh, Undying would get bullied on bottom lane by the double range of Witch Doctor and Sniper. I even go drop the tomb here in the top area. Yeah, they're dropping it so that they can farm the, the big camp as well. a good way to interrupt these uh, little bits of pulls that they have going on too. Zayats is making a little bit of rotation. Looks like he's going to go for the stat camp. But I'm curious now. We did see that uh, Puppy made his way over to the mid one. It's been a pretty quiet game despite everything though. Little bit of a move over in the mid lane though. Going to put the pressure over on Tanisha. Got the fire flame. Needs to be careful now. Go to on the other side. Gets the glimpse back though. Should be able to help get this final hit over on Tanisha. Oh, no, they're not going to be able to quite get it. He's trying to get there. He's trying to throw. Oh, he's not going to be able to go and finish off Nisha there. So he's going to have to just be satisfied with killing Puppy. But that is not the kill he wanted. And Nisha, with that fire flame, with the boots, and just being able to, to fly over trees is going to survive. Yeah, he survived, but Puppy just stayed a little bit too long there. Gets picked off by GPK. I think he could have backed out earlier, but probably didn't recognize that both Ava and Toss were coming up full down there. Right, it's not going to be able to quite land that Impale, but does manage to snap up the Arcane rune, so... Yeah. No Arcane for GPK, but uh, is going to put the Harass over to Zion. It's a good spike. Carapace will slow down. Another glimpse, but the hit underneath the tower means that they'll end up getting... Yeah, not, you know, doesn't have any deaths yet, but... DM doesn't have a TP here, but the rotation immediately from GPK will toss Crystallis up. Dakota being able to keep some vision over onto Crystallis. They will eventually get DM because he's taken too much damage from the Maledicted. Eventually they'll get Crystallis. Now Puppy, Nisha's here. Nisha says, hmm, yeah, I'm going to find this opening on GPK. I'm going to use my lasso. And that's a lot of Firefly. Need perhaps one more hit. There it is. And now Puppy looks like he is going to be the next one to die. And Kokoda, JC, yeah, I mean, he can't get away from this. What a brawl. Right. It saves him as well. He stays alive. Dyer's Gotta watch out for this tiny with Tumblr's toy. That's a scary Dyer. one. He can jump close to you. He still wants him. He still wants him for sure. Yeah, look at this. There's the avalanche. And that's a dead puppy. Dyer's structures are fortified. Okay, Amish. <laughs> He's running forward here, Nisha. They have the glimpse. They're going to bring him right back. But there it is. There's the lasso coming out from Nisha. But there's a lot of damage being dumped here. They also have the tombstone, but they'll still manage to get the kill on Yamash. GPK now in for trouble. Taking a lot of damage here from that shrapnel, from the clicks. A good response and rotation to seeing their Batrider get pounced upon. A uh, game-breaking uh, level impact, so they're protecting it. And GPK will take his own little stack here to the side. But yeah, look at all of this gold. It's gonna make this, uh... Gonna make this BKB come online a lot faster. A little bit of a poke around him. GPK is nearby, though, so if they go for this play, they'll go for the Witch Doctor. They'll be able to find the kill. But they'll turn back around. Now Nisha forced away. Yamaha's just taking too much damage. He'll kill the Undying. And now GPK is forced back. Does not happen to be making this rotation down to the bottom area. Oh, they seem nice, but okay, it's gonna be the Bat Rider teleporting in. Jump forward the toss into the roar, but there it is, the last of Nisha. will still be able to get the kill on Zion. Puppy though coming in, the cast bounces are nice. 
DM taking so much damage. He's going to end up dying now. GPK is trying to get away. They still have that little bit of vision on him. Not sure. feel like they're getting okay the jump forward here from gpk he sees resolution the static storm's going to get dropped but it looks like that will be at the wall oh, it gets dragged right back and again there's the last one over onto gpk plus that wall that we talked about bit of a roar over onto Lions, but not quite enough damage to finish off as they're gonna delta split side and look at the way that they're playing or rather luna playing a little bit closely to the rest of her team in case these fights break off so there's gonna be the blink into the back line from gpk sees puppy wants to try to punish him but puppy is absolutely gonna be fine they turn it back around, get the kill on GPK. Nisha did pop the BKB during this. It was looking for a pick off and they dropped the wall over to the side, but not gonna be able to get anything beyond what they have so far. It's completely fine. I mean, they're gonna kill on a mid laner. They're not chasing for more, Surge. Hakoda here. There it is, there's the Eclipse. They're chasing after Nisha. Cause they managed to get the kill on Hakoda over on the back lines. Couple of these cast bounces now. They'll still be able to finish Nisha. That physical damage of that Death Ward over onto Ramses is a little scary, but he's up there, which he has picked Radiant's up a couple times now in the past and used it to great effect. Yeah, and this dragon is going pushing mid tower now. Ooh, Hakoda. Nice little hop there from Zayat. Does have the Glimmer Cape. They have they a... Well, they have the, the, the ward there, but I think he's... They sent something's up on secret. They are just delta hugging over here in the mid lane. No one is showing in the lanes. We'll eventually show Fakoda. Sniper. It's the jump four, maybe? Yeah. We'll try to put the pressure over to Destructor, but they smoke wrap around the PKB from GPK. Says he starts at chisels, but we get that lasso off over on the back lines. The Satanic doing a lot. They'll end up losing DM. But now the pressure is on. They'll take out Puppy. They're going to end up losing Yamich. But they end up losing two over on the side of secret. And that is, of course, the sniper, their big core. They Still good for VP, though. They want to go up to have Hagram Vision. They see Sniper. They do see Sniper. He's going to use the BKB Puppy. There's going to be a buyback now from Zyza. Voodoo Switcheroo coming into play. Not going to be able to quite finish him off as they go. And they drop the wall. Puppy still will end up falling. DM over on the back line, though. But went for the war play. Still going to end up dying. Koda getting clicked down by Kristoff. GPK now on the run as Nisha finding himself another kill over onto Yamish. Oh my god, that fight, they're still chasing top actually. They are, they're chasing DPK as well, they want this. Good avalanche over on Tanisha. GPK turning back around, gets a couple hits over on Tanisha. Looks like Luna's out of harm's way, but the toss, they'll get the Batrider, but they will eventually end it. Huge. So they are Radiant's forcing them all back home. Nyx Assassin gonna break the smoke, they'll start off with the Death Ward, and just Yamich is instantly dead. And that Static Storm dropped over the back line, oh, but the vacuum wall plus the lasso over onto DM. DM's not the only at the last second, he doesn't manage to get the war, but there's already lost so many. Coda next to fall, as now Ramses and GPK, they're forced to leave. They have a mission where they need some sort of a pickup on, up on BP. I mean, that reaction time over in the mid lane by the uh, the tier two, you see a slight ping because they could see that the sniper was there and just the immediate blink from GPK. And as we talk about immediate blinks, we do manage to see Yamash here. So gonna end up dying, but Illusion. they do glimpse back Nisha for that brief moment. Now they're just gonna farm up a tombstone. Now he has the tombstone on death pounds. It, it's good in team fights, but it can be a little bit of a feed when you get solo picked off like that. 175 extra gold. Now Secret wanna fight more. Zayat's there, he's got himself the dust. This is a dead code. Glimmer over onto Tiny, the drag back. They need to get there really quickly. They're doing so much damage though with the sniper. Yamas yeah, trying to save him, not gonna be able to do it as they do manage to finish off the racks, but they'll end up losing this undying to boot. Yeah, that's a to play here. It's a risky one though. They're meanwhile losing mid racks. Mid racks went down to the Beastmaster. Yeah, he's this just being allowed to hit everything. They're going to have the Tiny back up at about 11 seconds. A little bit longer for the Undying. I think he's going to respawn in time, though. Thrown his buffed armor since a recent patch. 
I'm making this. Maybe, maybe he can hold this. I don't know. Again, they still have the A to jump forward here from DM, but he's not going to be able to get the roar off. He started to build up, and he's not going to be able to do it. Gets it off at the last second. Only lands over onto Puppy. The buyback comes out immediately. DPK with the BKB trying to put the damage over onto Puppy. Nation, though, dragging back DPK with that lasso. He's got the left done. Now DPK taking so many clicks. The wall gets shot. Rezo, though, pops up the run away. Hako is going to die next. Stalas, Ramsey's doing as much as he can here, trying to get these clicks off. Lots of buybacks coming out from both sides. Gustavs finally, they'll be able to go get the Aegis, but there's a the strike back again. Now Yamich sitting very low. Up comes Crystallis. They need to finish him off. And he's doing so much damage with that knockback, too. But eventually, they'll get the kill on Sniper. Wall making them a little hesitant to go forward. So they saw Puppy a good little stun over onto the side. They do finally get Yamish. Nisha still alive and kicking. Buy back now. Sniper's He's trying to get there. Gets Lotus over onto Nisha. Is going to be able to stay alive, though, with the question. He's sitting so very low. Ramses, he takes too much damage. There's no buyback on this Luna. GPK sitting at, like, 100 hit points. A couple little clicks. That's a triple kill now for Nisha. They have won it with a calculated risk of going for those tier fours and forcing wow. all the buybacks. What a game. That was a big play to commit for the for the tier fours. Not taking the safe play of just going for the racks. Very, very experienced call there. We see Secret in good spirits after that.